February 5th, 2008, was the day that began a scary journey for my family and I. It was just six months before I was 18, and I was a junior in high school. Not long before then, my mom was recommended to get a mammogram. She felt like she should get one, so she had one scheduled. Later, she told me that she may have breast cancer. I almost blew it off, trying not to let it sink in. She finally got a call to come hear the results and to bring a family member with her. She noticed that the results must have been horrible. She brought my sister with her and I stayed home to help my dad watch my sister's kids. My dad got a call from my mom explaining the news the doctor told her. When the news reached me that my mom had breast cancer, which we later found out was stage 3, I still didn't sink in a whole lot yet. However, I still told my youth pastor about the news. He supported me and comforted me throughout the journey. When everything finally sunk in, about a few weeks later, I was scared. I was worried what life would be like without her. I didn't want to see her go. I wasn't ready. Later, that year in May, I joined a Relay for Life team to help raise money for the American Cancer Society in honor of my mom. Little did I know this journey I was taking with my family was going to get a little worse. My dad was getting some blood work done in April for a diabetes checkup and some counts were going down. The doctors kept doing some tests to find out why the counts kept dropping. One test was a bone marrow test and it showed he had lymphoma. My dad was diagnosed with stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma on June 5, 2008. I was very shocked and very worried. Not only could I bear to lose just one of my parents, but I definitely could not bear to lose both of them. A week after my dad had a bone marrow test, he had a colonoscopy. Just when I really thought things were getting bad, my dad found out that he had tumors. He was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer on June 12th, 2008. I was devastated. As both of my parents were getting treatments, my youth group got me a card during youth camp. They were great at keeping it hidden from me. Everyone I could think of signed the card. Almost everyone said a little note of encouragement inside. It meant the world to me, and it really helped to have them encourage me and be there for me. I found an organization called Cancer Care, and I joined a support group full of teenagers who also had a parent diagnosed with cancer. God has shown me a lot through this journey my family and I have been taking. I thank him so much for blessing us all, much more than any of us could have ever imagined. During my senior year, a friend of mine from my youth group was in a broadcasting journalism class to help make videos for my school's closed circuit television news program called HTV. She interviewed my parents and I for a news story about the journey we took with cancer. She did a wonderful job making it with her friend, even though I never made it to the TVs in my school. She was kind enough to make a DVD copy of the HTV news story for my parents and I to keep. Later, I joined Relay for Life again that year, and I was able to raise money for the American Cancer Society in honor of both of my parents. As my dad was going through treatments with his lymphoma, his immune system sometimes went really low. He would end up staying overnight at the hospital for sometimes a week or so, until what he caught went away. One year, we spent Christmas time at the hospital. I'm glad he hasn't had to stay overnight at the hospital for a while now. As a result of my parents having cancer, I have noticed my whole family, especially my mom and dad, have grown closer together. We have realized that no matter what, life has its ups and downs. You never know when you will die, so live life to the fullest. My mom is now in remission from her cancer. In fact, she is now a three-year cancer survivor as of February 5th, 2011. My dad is still getting treatments with his colon cancer. The lymphoma is not in remission, and he will be a three-year cancer survivor this upcoming June. 
Now, whenever someone says that they have a parent or loved one that has been diagnosed with cancer, I can now understand how they feel and share with them how I have come through this journey. The person I want to thank the most to help me through this journey is God. Without Him, I can't do anything, nor could I ever go through this. I thank all my family and friends who have provided me encouragement and support. Thanks so much, guys. Safe in God's Hand, a poem by Rory Lesson. God is your victory over every stronghold and your confidence over every fear. This is how I have been able to go through my scariest, most shocking journey ever.